Did you call my name As you walk on by Will you call my name When you walk When you walk away When you walk on by Come on, call my name Penn Foster Group Will you call my name We can get the mic on stage, on. Not this stage, but that stage. Check one, two. How about if we give a quick round of applause for the band, folks? Are we ready? Graduates of the classes of 2020, 21, 22, and 23, Distinguished guests, instructors, and staff, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Penn Foster Group 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Entering the arena floor and leading in our academic directors, instructors, stage dignitaries, and senior vice presidents is Stacy Caldwell, Penn Foster's senior leader overseeing operations and academics that directly tie to learner outcomes. Now please welcome our 2020, 2021, and 2023 graduates.
you so very much. How about these graduates coming in here, huh? Ten faster! Woo! Tell your stories, graduates. Sure. Now we're going to kick it up a little bit for you guys. Feel free to dance next to your seats. Dance to your seats. 1950, here we come. Come on over, baby. Got a whole lot of shaking going on. Come on over, baby. Baby, you can't go wrong. Oh, honey, I ain't faking. I got a whole lot of shaking going on. I said, a
guitar from Sean Lehman.
Can we just do a quick round of applause for the band, folks? Come on. Welcome to Penn Foster Group's largest graduation ever. Now, if you please do me a favor and rise or otherwise signify your presence for our national anthem, performed by Latora Parnell, graduating with her Penn Foster High School Diploma. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bumps bursting Thank you, LaTora. You may all take your seats. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome Zach Heller, our Vice President of College and Career Training, to the stage. Thank you, Dr. Sheen. I'm so excited to be here with all of you today, and I have the privilege of introducing our next speaker. She is an extraordinary individual whose qualities of leadership and commitment to innovation continue to have a positive impact on the education industry. As a person who leads Penn Foster Group's high school, college, and career programs, Stacy Caldwell commits herself to putting the needs of learners first. With over two decades of educational experience and advanced degrees from renowned institutions like Stanford and Harvard universities, Stacy embodies the essence of leadership and empowerment. She leads with a belief in the power of education to break down barriers, and pave the way for lifelong success. As you embark on your own journeys, let Stacy's remarkable story inspire you. She has used her skills and experience to help countless learners build better lives for themselves, and she continues to work tirelessly to make education more accessible and inclusive for all. Please join me in welcoming Stacy Caldwell. Thank you, Zach. Graduates, families, friends, welcome. We could not be more excited to see all of you here and to feel the amazing energy that you've brought into this space. On behalf of our board of directors, our senior leadership, and our faculties, I would like to express our sincere congratulations to each and every graduate. Today, we celebrate your achievements, your dedication, and your hard work. You're graduating from a network of schools that make up the Penn Foster Group, which got its start over 130 years ago when a newspaper editor named Thomas Foster founded the school to provide coal miners with the skills they needed to advance their careers and increase their safety. 
The school became known as the International Correspondence School, and by early 1900, one in every 27 adults in the U.S. had taken an ICS course. Fast forward 100 years, and by 2006, ICS had, uh, <coughs> had, had moved on to online education and became by, known by the new name, Penn Foster. We have continued to grow and incorporate new programs, and today we offer over 100 degree, diploma, and certificate programs across an amazing network of schools that includes Penn Foster High School, Career School and College, James Madison High School, Ashworth College, the New York Institutes of Art and Design, Photography and Career Development, and ICS Canada. Across each of the schools in the network, we have been honored to be a part of your journey, and we hold the deepest respect for your achievements in being here today. We are inspired by your grit and your tenacity. You join us today from 46 states, the District of Columbia and the U.S. Virgin Islands, as well as from 21 countries. As a group, you are a model of service to your families and the world. Almost half of you are caregivers for children. A quarter of you care for one or more adults. And almost three quarters of you were employed over the course of your program. All of which means you have completed your programs in the time above and beyond the hours you put in supporting yourselves and your families. Amazing. As we have watched you learn and heard your stories, we stand in awe of your curiosity and your courage and your commitment to do whatever it takes. Our speakers today will share a number of those individual stories, and I know that you will leave inspired. I and we also hope that you take a moment to embrace the energy of the amazing group of graduates in this space today. We hope that you have or will take time to meet a few of the fellow graduates around you. I saw plenty of that going on outside, so I think you've already begun and that more broadly, you take advantage of your alumni networks. You've become part of a community that's proud of who you are, where you came from, and where you're going. Finally, to the family and friends gathered here today, thank you for supporting our graduates every step of the way. Your love, encouragement, and guidance have made all the difference. In closing, we know that education is not a destination, but a journey towards a better opportunity, a better career, and ultimately, a better life. We are grateful that each of you allowed us to work alongside you on a key moment in that journey. Congratulations, graduates. We are proud to be Penn Foster Group, and we are even prouder of you. Now, I would like to officially introduce our Chief Learning Officer and my friend and colleague, Dr. Andrew Sheen. Andy is, recognized and, is a recognized and award-winning expert in creating innovative and engaging online education programs. He has led the online academic teams for graduate schools, colleges, and K-12 schools, and he began his career as a high school English teacher. To list just a few of his awards, in 2009, he was named the District Teacher of the Year for the Poway Unified School District. In 2014, he was selected to be one of six faculty to lead the Institute for Engaged Leadership in Online Education through Penn State World Campus. And in 2017, he was selected as a Chief Academic Officer Digital Fellow by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I had the pleasure of first meeting Andy early in 2021, which means, of course, we met on the phone. Uh, but being restricted to the phone didn't really matter because energy, Andy's energy is unstoppable. I knew that day I had met both a shared spirit and a true talent in designing experiences and programs that make a difference. I've been honored to get the chance to work with him over the past two plus years. Please welcome back to the podium, Dr. Andrew Sheen. Thank you, Stacy, for being a great mentor, a friend, and an inspirational leader. Did you know Abraham Lincoln lost eight 
elections, failed twice in business, suffered a nervous breakdown, and then became one of the greatest presidents of all time. Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. Arguably the greatest competitor of all time got cut from his high school basketball team. Resolve and perseverance can sometimes come from our greatest challenges and disappointment, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit. Babe Ruth was known as the home run king, but did you also know that he struck out the most? What doesn't break you can make you stronger, can make you stronger. Can meaning you have to be the governor of your own mind, as David Goggins, former Navy SEAL and New York Times bestseller liked to say. Have you heard of Allison Felix? One of the most decorated track athletes of all time. When she got pregnant with her little girl, a famous shoe company cut her pay, stating, she was not able to fulfill her duty. Because she cannot compete in all the events, instead of battling the shoe company, she decided to use it as motivation. She won the gold in Tokyo 2020 and launched her own shoe company, designed for women by women, and poached a few designers from that shoe company to make it happen. A setback doesn't have to hold you back. Roadblocks are simply opportunities to overcome. You know what an alchemist does? They sear ore with fire to get gold, with fire. You don't get gold unless you withstand fire and enable it to chisel you into you what you are made to be. Perhaps David Hollis, former Disney executive, said it best, a ship in the harbor is safe. But that's not what ships are for. He had that tattooed on his forearm. You see, each of you are here because you decided at point to venture into the sea. And you all likely faced and overcame considerable obstacles. In some cases, extraordinary obstacles. Working full time, balancing kids in school, not always having enough money to pay the bills, worried about writing essays after many years out of traditional schools, struggling to believe in yourself. The list goes on. But you're here. You did it. You made it. I know Roberta is here. Graduated from Penn Foster College with an AA in business management. She's here. She shared with us that Penn Foster changed her life. You see, her mom passed away, and it was a struggle for her to balance school while helping to care for her younger siblings. She felt furthering her education was out of reach. She came to the US with her family for a better life, and the only way to pay the bills as an immigrant was to work odd jobs, 10 to 12 hour standing shifts. She was on the brink of giving up. She started Penn Foster and began to grow professionally, which led her to earning a position as a manager. Roberta knows obstacles and knows what it looks like not to give up. <laughs> Renee is here. Renee was injured on the job and used the challenging circumstance to earn a certificate in residential electrician, completing coursework while in and out of surgeries recovering. Renee knows what it's like to overcome adversity. Licia, graduating with her certificate in civil litigation, has a mother of two children and one of those children's having a physical disability, earning her degree online enabled her the opportunity to further her education and skills to achieve her goal. Sure. Tiffany. A James Madison High School graduate did not give up, even when she doubted herself. Her kids and family are proud of her. We're proud of her, too. Deshasha shared with us that she shed tears of joy when she pleaded her degree of compliance. She's a 40-year-old mother who had three children. She had to put college on hold to care for them. Today, she earned her AA in psychology. Morgan is in the first of her family to complete high school. The list is a scroll that is a mile long. How many of you can relate with these students? I bet many of you have similar stories and obstacles that you've overcome. What would have broke most didn't break you. In some cases, it's what's made you. will continue to make you. And this is just the beginning, one step of many. Like Jordan, Lincoln, Alice, and Felix, and more, you are proof the obstacle can be the way. So keep climbing. Never give up. Always see the fork in the road as a challenge to overcome, not a reason to throw in the towel. Let me end with a quick story. When I was a younger teacher working with at-risk youth, my mentor invited a Holocaust survivor, Lydia, 
to speak with students. It was the first time I have ever witnessed them sit quietly and politely for an hour straight. That's a true story. Towards the end of her talk, after describing standing before Nazi leaders every morning, determining her fate, a student raised their hand and asked, why didn't you just give up? Run to the electric fence, take your life, after enduring such suffering. She thought for a moment and answered, hope. Hope to have a career, a family to travel, to write, hope. Hope, she told students, is like light. When magnified, it can cut through steel. Congratulations, Penn Foster Group graduates. You are heroes in your own rights. Be proud, full of hope, confident that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to, no matter what the obstacles that will inevitably stand in your way. Congratulations. I would now uh, like to introduce our Vice President of High School, Alex Thome. Thank you, Dr. Sheen. I'm inspired. High school. Any high school grads here today? It's my distinct pleasure to introduce the keynote speaker. Dr. Thomas Stewart. Dr. Stewart's the Executive Vice President for Social Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion at National University. And we are honored to welcome him to the stage to speak with you today. Dr. Stewart's journey showcases the transformative power of education. I'm sure you can relate. Despite facing hardships and challenges early in his life, he harnessed the potential of learning and forged a path that changed the trajectory of his life. He joined the military after completing high school, yeah, where he acquired the learning strategies he needed to pursue an undergraduate degree. After earning his bachelor's in political science from the University of the District of Columbia, a historically black university in our nation's capital, he went on to be the first person from that school to be accepted into a PhD program at Harvard University, where he received his PhD in government. Today, Dr. Stewart is a board member for the Multicultural Media Correspondents Association. He's on the editorial board for the Journal of School Choice. He's the president of the National Black Graduate Student Association, a founding member of the Black Alliance for Education Options. He was the president of John F. Kennedy University, the president of Patton University, and a sergeant in the U.S. Army. That's it. He harnessed the power of education to change his circumstances and create a life for himself that allows him to be a voice and an advocate for others. So graduates, friends, family, please welcome Dr. Thomas Stewart. Thank you, Alex, for a wonderful introduction. To the graduates, your family, and friends, to the faculty of the Penn Foster Group, the staff, the leadership, and special guests, greetings. Graduates, I, I'm, I'm honored to share this special occasion with you today and provide a few words of wisdom and encouragement as you celebrate this significant milestone in your lives. In preparation for my remarks, I learned several impressive facts about this graduating class. As Stacy mentioned earlier, over 70% of you worked while, while learning. That's impressive. Your ages range from 14, and the data that the school provided me said up to 65. But I met a gentleman earlier today in your class, Frank Roberts. Frank, can you stand up? Frank is 76 years young. He truly represents something that we would love to emphasize, which is lifelong learning. 
And your accomplishments today are just a stepping stone to wonderful opportunities, both pers personal and professional, that await you. And, and Frank, once again, is a, is a great example of that. The most impressive things that I learned about you all are the fortitude and determination you demonstrated during your academic journey. Many of you doubted whether you should even enroll in the program that you're in. By a show of hands, who can relate to that? Really question whether you could do it. Look around. But you did it anyway. Many of you overcame personal and life challenges during the course of your studies that many people would have dropped out. And Andy told some of those personal stories. How many of you can relate to that? In fact, some of you thought about dropping out multiple times. But nevertheless, here you are and you accomplish what you set out to achieve. Give yourselves a hand. I feel blessed to be here today on this very special occasion because I can sincerely relate to many of the challenges and obstacles each of you overcame. For the record, the person standing before you today and that Alex so eloquently described, and I sat there and said, who the heck is he talking about, uh, was a much different person years ago in my late teens and early 20s. You know, I'll often refer to myself in the past tense because I've had to learn that that person I used to be isn't the person I wanted to become. So I hope you can follow some of the things I'm about to say. His family and friends called him Little Tommy. Mostly because his name, he was named after his father, who weighed 250. He weighed about 120 pounds at, at about that time in his life. Little Tommy spent a few years in foster care early in life and eventually grew up in public housing project in a low-income neighborhood in Washington, D.C. called Brentwood. Neither of Little Tommy's parents have high school diplomas. Most of the males in his neighborhood were expected to spend some time of their, of their adult lives in prison or jail. The young ladies were expected to have children very early on and to rear them as single mothers. However, however after spending several years in the U.S. Army and gaining hope, and once again, I appreciate that being emphasized earlier, little Tommy decided to pursue an undergraduate degree at the University of District of Columbia which he received in three years with honors. He was accepted to 13 of the most pre prestigious universities in the country, and he chose Harvard. And after seven years, he left as Dr. Stewart. The question I'm often asked is, how did you transform yourself from little Tommy to Dr. Stewart? The answer to that question is the advice and the wisdom I'd like to share with you briefly today. First, I had to recreate little Tommy. I had to change how I thought about the future and my self-perception. I had to overcome the fear of dying early or going to prison. I had to overcome the fact that I grew up in a poor neighborhood with a lot of distractions and potentially life-altering, if not deadly, consequences. When I decided to become Big Tommy, I had to accept that no one ever taught me how to learn. And if I did the work, I could learn anything. For example, I was reading and writing at a ninth grade level at the age of 21. I had to humbly overcome the shame and embarrassment I felt whenever I went into the writing center, whenever I met with a tutor. And I met with tutors for nearly two to three hours a week for two years. My writing improved dramatically, and my confidence in my ability to grow academically grew as well. Second. I had to surround myself with people who believed in my talent and were willing to support me. And I'm sure most of you have experienced that with faculty from the Penn Foster Group. In some cases, people saw my potential, often people saw my potential before I did. On the flip side, I had to distance myself from people who wanted to be part of, wanted me to be part of their hustle, who saw me as little Tommy, who never saw me being able to achieve some of the things that I've accomplished today. I began to recreate the network of friends who genuinely wanted to work hard and to live an honest and healthy life. 
last, and this one is really intimate for me, um, and it's probably the most important thing I, I could share. One of the most challenging but rewarding decisions I made was to see a therapist or a counselor. I openly shared the fear, the pain, the shame, the trauma little Tommy experienced as a poor black kid in a low wealth and high violence household and community. I discovered that all the trauma little Tommy experienced was unfortunately common for many people and more importantly, many people have successfully overcome those challenges. I learned that many of the lived, my lived experiences gave me, and Andy said this, a form of strength, empathy, and hunger many people don't have and money can't buy. Most importantly, I learned that my childhood and young adult experiences were part of my past, and they did not have to influence my future. And I repeat that, and I'd like to re rephrase that in the collective. For all of us, everything that happened to us in the past does not determine our future. Today, you're taking a massive step towards recreating yourself. You have the, the potential to be a new, improved version, or should I say a bigger version of yourself that keeps getting better as long as you're willing to be humble, open-minded, courageous, hardworking, and understand the value of lifelong learning. You can never get enough of learning, as we've learned here by a 67-year-old youngster. If you can close your eyes and see yourself as a business owner, a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever you want to be, you are well on your way to becoming that person, that bigger, more improved version of yourself. Never stop learning. You have proven to yourself and anyone who ever doubted you that you have what it takes. And this is just the beginning of what you are capable of achieving. In closing, at the end of each day, it's not about how much money you make, nor the titles you earn, nor what you've done for yourself. It's about who you've helped or lifted up. It's about who you've inspired and made better. It's about what you can give back and how you can make the world a better place than the one that you received. And I'd like to thank the Penn Foster Group for allowing me to hopefully say something that will lift you all up. I'm so proud of you. And uh, when I look out in this audience, I know that all of you are capable of greatness. And many of you will be celebrities that we can't even fathom in terms of the kind of impact that you all will have. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you, Dr. Stewart, that was wonderful. I would now like to invite Garrick Haynes, our graduate speaker, to the stage. Garrick is graduating today with an Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information Management, a Bachelor's of Science in Marketing, and a Master's of Business Administration from Ashworth College. He is also our Graduate of the Year winner, having been selected by a review committee comprised of members of our Education Department. Garrick has been a law enforcement professor for more than 23 years, is the owner of Jabrell Corporation, is a husband, a father of three, a grandfather of seven. Garrick's journey to the stage today is one of commitment to personal excellence, a deep desire, a calling to build a legacy for his family. Garrick forged his path with a positive mindset, which he worked hard to cultivate, a desire to continue learning and growing. He is an inspiration to many, and we are honored to have him speak with you today. Please welcome Garrick Haynes. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I want to start out, I was thinking about something clever to say to you uh, as I watched everyone walk in, and I'll get to my speech here in just a second, but um, I figured I wouldn't do that. I figured I'd just speak from the heart, right? So I want to say that I, you guys are an inspiration to me. Uh, I'm graduating with you, but looking at everything that you've done today, coming in, being so excited, even when you were hot in the hallways, you were re very excited and still had good spirits. So 
I want to say I appreciate that, and you have inspired me to do more than even the things that I do now. One thing I want to do, though, I'm inspired by all the family that's come that showed up for you. So will you give your families a round of applause for me? All right, so I won't take up too much of your time. I'll get into my speech, and we'll get this thing moving. All right, so let me get my glasses on. Hello, fellow graduates. I want to start out by saying congratulations to each and every one of you for all of your accomplishments, which have brought us together today. I, too, am sharing in this joyous occasion with you as a proud graduate, which means we are now a permanent part of each other's history, whether we like it or not. So thank you for being a part of my history, a history that I can forever look back upon with a smile. Although our timelines may have been different, in some form or fashion, we took this journey together. We each made the conscious decision to better ourselves by beginning or continuing our educational journey. And we each made the conscious decision to complete the work assigned to us. This conscious decision made by each of us at some point in time has finally paid off. And I simply want to say that I am proud and even more humble to have this opportunity to stand in front of you today to tell you a little bit about myself and how I came to be on this stage. Before I begin, I want to say thank you to the entire Penn Foster and Ashworth College staff to include those joining me on this stage and the folks behind the scenes that help to keep the students on the right track during their educational journey. I also want to give a special thanks to Ms. Nicole Krampaski for seeing something in me after having a brief but in-depth conversation where she recognized my desire to motivate others. So let me tell you a little bit about me. And in case, you don't, in case I don't say it by the end of this speech, please feel free to introduce yourself to me after this graduation. I'd love to hear from any or all of you who would like to network or share with me. I wear three hats in life. So far, I've enjoyed over 23 years as a law enforcement professional. I'm currently a commander in the Special Investigations Division, where I oversee multiple units, a staff of hardworking supervisors and detectives. The second hat I wear is that I'm the owner of my own company. It's called Joe Brio Corporation. My company focuses on many forms of technology to include software development, website design, drone manufacturing, robotics, and finding solutions through artificial intelligence. The third hat I wear, and most important hat, is that it's taking care of my family. I'm a husband, a father to three, and so far, a grandfather to seven. Thank you. So they are the reason that the other two hats exist. My life's goal, my purpose, is to build a legacy for my family. Through our accomplishments, this graduation plays an important role for each of us here today in building legacies for our individual families, friends, or anyone you may want to motivate to be successful in life. As I began my preparation to speak to you today, I thought, what story best describes how I ended up here on this stage at this moment? Here's what I came up with like the keynote speaker, which unfortunately we all tend to have similar stories, but I think they're good because a lot of people share them. I begin to remember my time as a child, my time as a teenager, my adulthood, and my growth into the man you see here standing, today, standing here today. As a child, I dreamed of becoming very successful as an adult. My most, common, my most common answer when asked what I wanted to be when I grew up was that I wanted to be a lawyer. I'm not sure where I got that from. Uh, I, but I believe it must have been from watching television shows that depict the lawyers as rich and untouchable. My preferred sport was baseball, so I also thought that this might be an option for me as I grew up. The bottom line, as a child, my mind was wide open to the possibilities of being whatever I wanted to be as an adult. By the time I reached my teenage years, my mindset had changed. I had a lot of friends that were in gangs, and I could be seen hanging around them often. Here's where my mindset was at the time. 
I no longer thought about baseball or being a lawyer or being successful in any way for that matter. It baffles me to this day as I recall that I saw prison time as a guaranteed path for my future. Because of my environment, I truly thought that at some point I was supposed to go to prison, do my time, and return to my hometown with the ultimate street credibility of having served my time and paid my dues. The complete opposite of my original plan, right? I was looking forward to giving away my freedoms, reducing my chances to gain wealth, and setting a course in life where I would have no control over how and when I would be able to perform the basic everyday tasks that everyone in this room, including myself, do every day without having to ask permission first. Not one of my proudest moments. However, this was the culture of my current environment. In my mind, fulfilling what I thought the culture required of me was all that mattered. And I was going to do whatever it took to meet those expectations. In reality, the culture was only a small percentage of the problem. The bigger issue was me and my mindset at the time. I was seeking influences in all the wrong places, and embracing those influences was what was going to get me locked up or worse. Now, after previously mentioning my current profession, it's obvious that I did not continue on that path. The reason for that is because I found new purpose along the way. I embraced my passion for music, which led me to a recording contract, uh, sorry, <laughs> which then led me to a concert tour and ultimately me owning my own recording and production company for several years. This was because I allowed an additional influence in my life along the way. Somehow, during my journey to get to prison, while visiting a cousin during the summer, I was introduced to a young man who was not much older than myself, who was able to open my eyes to new possibilities. Even in a community where his culture was similar to mine, he was able to find a positive outlet that brought people together and gave him purpose. It allowed him to focus on something other than the negativity. And through my observations of his work and the positively passionate discussions we had, he unknowingly changed my life forever. Through this brief but impactful interaction, I no longer saw prison as an option for my life and decided that this was also an unacceptable fate for anyone that I would have influence over in the future. But this was not going to be an easy journey. Just because I decided to make a change did not mean that those around me could or would do the same. Therefore, I found myself stuck in the middle at times. On one hand, moving in a positive direction. On the other, supporting some of the negativity that still existed in my current environment. It wasn't until after my children were born that I truly realized it was time to break free of that environment and expand my views of the world. I did this by joining the military, which allowed me to travel and live in many different cities and states, and also provided me the opportunity to travel to and live in other countries, ultimately leading me to a career in law enforcement, which is a complete contradiction to the stereotypical expectations of someone who grew up with the same or similar mindset as I had in my early youth. As I continue on this path, I am proud to report that I continue to do great things, for myself, I remain positive in all that I do, with every, and with everyone in every situation I encounter. I have remained open to positive influences and enjoy being mentored by all sorts of people with diverse backgrounds and points of view. For those I directly influence, I'm a mentor and a coach. And I continue to strive to be a positive example to anyone who will listen to what I have to say. For all others, I hope to lead, influence, and provide encouragement and motivation through my actions. So what's next for me? I recently developed a mobile application that will provide resources for people in need of essential services, as well as a solution to help locate missing persons in a timely manner. I'm also working on a release of my first in a series of motivational books. I'm determined to be sure that my family and anyone that I may have influence over can see that most obstacles that tend to block our path to success usually take up residence in our minds. It is up to us as individuals to evict these obstacles or move them from our minds. Then and only then can we begin to see more in the little we think we are given. We can also then begin to understand that the environment or situation we live in does not have to be our permanent situation. 
We all have the power within us to, to change the direction of our lives, just as I did. At the beginning of this speech, I told you that my goal, life's goal, my purpose, is to build a legacy for my family. I also reminded you that today's celebration of your successful completion of this stage of your educational goal is the beginning or continuation of a build, building a legacy for your family, your friends, or someone you may want to influence to be successful. I wanted to repeat this because it is important to me that you realize just how special you are for getting to this point in your life. As a final thought, I'll leave you with this. My legacy, my family, is the fuel that powers the drive, my drive forward in every situation that I encounter. They are my reason behind my purpose to help others. I know that they are quietly watching, and because of it, they will be great at whatever they set out to do with their lives. I also know and hope that I will positively influence them in ways that we may never discuss, simply through their actions, or through my actions. You should know that you are doing the same for others who, others who are taking note of your actions. Congratulations to everyone. Please continue to succeed at your goals and remember your accomplishments are positively influencing others, whether you know it or not. Your influence could be what changes someone else's life for the better, just as my life was unknowingly changed by a young man who found a positive outlet while living in a negative environment. If anyone is wondering, yes, I do believe in a higher power. I don't know why God chose to save me by putting me in the right place at such a crucial time in my life, but because of it, I am here speaking with you today. In fulfilling my purpose, I hope that I have inf Thank you. In fulfilling my purpose, I hope that I have influenced someone in this room today to be the example through your actions that will spark the change in someone else's life. And I ask that each of you take a minute to reflect on who you, knowingly or unknowingly, are positively influencing as you walk across the stage today. Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge a special group of graduates among us today. For more than 200 years, the member of our armed forces have protected us and allowed our country to grow and thrive. These individuals have devoted service and made personal sacrifices, to many of whom have made the ultimate sacrifice, in order to protect our country, secure our freedom, and safeguards with the rights we enjoy. The Penn Foster Group is proud of our students and instructors who represent all branches of the military. Today, it's our privilege to honor our military students and student veterans who will cross the stage to receive their degrees, diplomas, and certificates. As I announce each area of service, if you are a graduating student or instructor who has served in the armed forces, active duty, reserve, or is a veteran, please rise and remain standing or otherwise signify your presence. United States Army. United States Navy. United States Marine Corps. United States Air Force. United States Coast Guard. United States Space Force. United States Army National Guard. United States Air Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in expressing our gratitude and congratulating these dedicated members and veterans of the United States of America Armed Forces. There are three more groups that deserve recognition. You can, you can see. Thank you. <laughs> there are three more groups that deserve recognition at this special event. First, I'd like to recognize the Graduate of the Year winners. The group of learners, along with countless other outstanding submissions, shared with us the accomplishments they achieved through the programs of the Penn Foster Group, including admissions to college, promotions, raises, and new jobs. Many also shared the challenges they faced in the process and how they tapped into their grit to overcome them. Please join me in recognizing Cindy Zaremba Woodward from Penn Foster High School, Garrick Haynes from Ashworth College, Hannah Alfonso from James Madison High School, Nevada Cahoy from the New York Institute of Art and Design, 
and Felipe Norega from the New York Institute of Photography. Next, few of our graduates would have achieved their academic success without academic support from their instructors provided all along the way. We would like to take this moment to recognize all of our instructors in attendance today. Let's take a moment and acknowledge and recognize your faculty for your journey up to this point. <laughs> Finally, probably the most important group are those individuals, your life, who provided moral, spiritual, and sometimes financial support, who have accompanied you to commencement today. Will the parents, grandparents, guardians, spouses, partners, children, relatives, friends of our graduates, please rise, or otherwise signify your presence. We thank you for your love, dedication, and support. Before we invite the graduates to approach the stage, please note the official conferring of degrees, diplomas, and certificates will be at the end of the ceremony. Therefore, graduates, return to your seats after leaving the stage and remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony. We recognize it's gonna take a little bit of time to announce the names of each graduate walking on stage. For many of you, this has been years of hard work to this moment, and we ask please that you be patient while we celebrate each individual accomplishment. At this time, we'd like to recognize our learners by the schools they are graduating from. Graduates, when your school is called, please rise or otherwise signify your presence. Pem Foster. James Madison High School. James Madison High School. Ashworth College. New York Institute of Art and Design. New York Institute of Photography. New York Institute of Career Development. ICS Canada. We have now reached that part of the ceremony where our graduates will be recognized as they cross the stage. Before we do that, I, I, it is my honor to recognize our guests on stage. Uh, first with Garrick Haynes, who is graduating from Ashworth College with his graduate degree. It is also my honor to present this diploma to Latora Purnell, our Penn Foster High School graduate. All right, here to present the degrees, certificates, and diplomas to our graduates are our academic directors, Dr. Jamie Nguyen and Dr. Peter Francis. Academic Manager Brian Brown and Veterinary Academic Clinical Coordinator Amber Santa. All right, before we, all right, before we start, you've got to give me a whoop whoop. I'm not going to get this chance again. I'll deal with the boss later. Hashtag, ow! Oh, come on, everybody. Yep.
Gerald Beauville. Paulette Beauville. E.K. Chuku Lewanya. Tiffany Tyrell. Enoch Alexander. Vicky Jordan. Veronica Tatum. Kimberly Kalstrom. And Sylvia Adams. Bob Gower. Sierra Doyle. Crystal Ganzel. Ava Bjork Igestort. Igestortri. Close? Oh, my apologies. Natalia Ponina. Catherine Jackson. Shiam Shell the Kamar. Anna Just. Anurada Muto Kamar. Lashad Lavelle Chandler. Emily Hendricks. Tanvir Rohan. Deborah Humoka. And Juan Acosta. Aubrey Odell. Katuna Duvalle. Jacqueline Kirk Canal. Irma Kuprava Boyer. Tinitin San Ekize. Madeline Brosias. Timia Jankovitz. Victoria Verhar. Parshin Vaharad. Anna Palet Lava. Remy Barron. Ariana Walker Burgess. Lucin Gasparin. Miriam Elch Ashviri. Maya Mamula Shuvili. Patricia Oliveira. Andrea Corti Gizzo. Isaac Kam. Isaac? Isaac Kam. Destiny Simon. Gerbret Junaja. Angela Marshburn. And Shannon Johnson. Ezagani Kurganan. Krista Roach. Mary Grace Dionisio. Eileen Nanhe. Zongi Pengotapulas. Caitlin Henson. Narja Chase. Lacey Smith. Tara Fromilier. Emery Hill. Jotika Nejoan. Brianna Serrano. <laughs> Naya Sarita Carlington. Joshua Caldwell. Christina Delgado. Guidales Johnson. Catherine Spots. Holly Gailey. Brittany Fortner. Rihanna Hope Stutzman. Zay Petaway. Brian Aguilera. Tasha Brown. Nicholas McGraw. Jesnea De Paz Flores. Katrina Davis. Oh. Heaven Talia Glover. Lon Ludo. Say it again. Elena Coleton. Ian Ludo. Oh, so sorry. I, I, I. Cynthia Edwards. Fernando Cervantes. Jonathan McGraw Mabin. Delany Dockerty. Junior Gibbs. Lucas Peets. 
Jorge Rose de Leon. Sarah Holton. Skyler Bates. Lane Reeves. Joshua Haynes. Michael Porter. Nasir Muwada. Caitlin Sherbenko. Nia Overstreet. Cloud Eilers. Brianna Brown. Cloud will also be accepting two honorary diplomas on the behalf of his uh, late sibling, Seth and Tristan. Right? Okay. Dominique Williams. Avis Poe. Hannah Mayday. Close. Okay. Alana Russell. Shereen G. Jackson. Caitlin Dalton. Agnes Pepra. Felicia Martin. <laughs> Chloe Ponsalva. Right. Close. Bernardo Ortega. Congratulations. Sabrina Shepard. Jamie Richardson. <laughs> Harris Edwards. <laughs> Nina Hatsagi. Sharissa Jones. Nayeli Ramirez. Aisley Santana. Rachel Lopez. Adrian Francis. Judith Mechanich. Samuel Nagar. Precious Wins. Ashton Ace Emerson. Janelle Green. Atsiri Gomez. Alicia Nelson. Christina Grace. Kelly Betzel. Morgan Iceman. Zabine Primer. Brianna Banks. Sophia Kominsky. Kaylee Whitfield. Delaney Sampi. Andrea Lloyd. Braden Pramines. Phoenix Medina. Sarah Orr. Navea McMichael. Teresa Natumba. Ariana Zarate. Chelsea Marie Delgado. Lipsy Mendez. Danielle Johnson. Porsche Germany. Maya Holt. Miguel Pena. Hannah Alfonso. Rebecca McCall. Jessica Hacking. Kimar Shanner. Miles Nesbitt Johnson. Muhassin Crosby. Marquis Fitzpatrick Brooks. Nina Dennis. Amber Butler. Fabio Xavier. Cynthia Davis. Sarah Ali. Leticia Bridges. Elizabeth Paul. Marie Val Ostein. Stephanie Knight Barber. Shanita McDonald. Jessica Nelson. Bridget Gidner. Pamela Elliott. Lakeisha Rainey. Catherine Linsigan. Elizabeth Gonzalez. Rose 
Amari. Soban Shahid. Jennifer Antosh. Zainib Shahid. Megan Morales. Usman Shahid. Angela Kosenke. Lynette Lopez. Rachel Wells Nitka. Lebronice Riley Johnson. Janiqua Lewis. Isabella Guadalupe Miguel. Paul Belton. Marsha Rainey. Joanne Carter. Andre Adriano Solo. Lucia Smith. Zainib El Shahiab. Vanessa Rossi. Christina Patty. Alexa Veth. Shaquin Ah. Dana Grant. Melissa Colburn Earl. Tiffany Miller. Danielle Bryant. Daniela O'Philly. Kendaya Nia Linton Bell. Debbie O'Philly. Geraldine Rogers. Wanda Yvette Santiago. Samuel A. Dwamina. Patrick Musipe. Kiana Green Overton. Shantavia Gilbert. Melina Ramos Infante. Kimisha Spooner. Pauline Humphreys. Ronell Nelson. Lulu Larika Yan. Emmanuel Atadoga. Inez Williams Alexander. Richard Sajor. Lashana Goldman. Stephanie Blakeman. Rose Fleur Dang A. Sinchem. Sabrina Charo. Lola Combo. Jennifer R. Meyer. Letitia Robles. Sheila Bowen. Christina Johnson. Carl Esla. Michelle Ambrosio. Jennifer Salam. Helen Nuwagamba. Leonard Martin, Jr. Janelle Cartwright. Ricardo Charles. Sharika Nolan. Vanessa Padilla. Kavisha Henson. I am Al Sayidi. Donald Dunbar. Kelly Hart. Frank Roberts. Yay. Carla Bailey. Nora Hamude. Philip Moore. Stephanie Escobar Diaz. Kathy Lopez de Victoria. McCress Assignment. Rihanna Shang. Lachey Brandon. Tanisha Gross Mateen. Kristen Grayo. Adrian Hong Jun Kim. Wendy Diaz Casante. Zainab Nadim. Catherine Martin. Ready. Sophia Hurt. 
Geraldine Ash. Mariqua Lennon. Shanice James. Christopher Ware. Ebony Chapman. Dustin Mooring. Robert Mike Handsome. Davida Jackson. Sylvia Rendon Fong. Shayna K. Gardner. Ashley Williams. Julie Bradshaw. Simplicio Susumo Abegue. Carolyn Kabarlak Zulueta. Jovan Clayton. Anna Funkwe Loa. Marie Morville. Robbie Franklin. Sandra Butler. Nicole Lockwood. Marche English. Kiera Jasmine Rudolph Jackson. Lori Lee Roberts. Camelia Beckles. Shantae Ellsworth. Faustina Nathan. Tim Formanoff. Kayla Shea P. Kumbiza. David Wynn. Lakeisha Miller. Lakeisha Johnson. Giovanni Copeland. Sam Charlie. Jadea Lager. Michael Dean. Marcia Les. Caitlin Hernandez. Jalen Dupree. Sharhonda Flowers. Alea Miro. Johnny Holly Jr. Ruth Papavici. Bailey Parr. Kayla Flannery. Mia Moreau. You ready, Bobby? Bobby Muffin. Emily Horner. Aisha Dozier. Corrine Bukowski. Carissa Dean. Chitra Priam Oth. Maritza Duflar. Tere Alexander. Diane Morgan. Scipio Wack. Tonisha Taylor. Zakia Martin. Laura Ellen. Diane Jeffries. Emmanuel Zakuba. Carolyn Simmons. Sydney Zaremba Woodward. Shadrika Chandler. Tanya Davis. Kareem Salhab. Mohammed Manson Abdel Sattar. Cheryl Hart. Terrell Mathis. Sheldon Melton. Claudine Sanders Jackson. 
Tyasia Turner. Ramin Gavrilo. Crystal Brown. David Hernandez. Haley Galvin. Jennifer McCullough. Hannah. Hannah Colburn. Kristen King. Emily Mooney. Jade Cortazar. Jade Cortazar. Brianna Birchfield. Say again. Jenna, de Jesus, de, de Jesus. Jenna Conley. Anna Jolina Anderson. Edie Trejo. Tavarias Menefi. Dante Hudick Campbell. Noah Cross. Amaya Bracey. Rosemary Tante. Jacob McCary. Xavier Ibera. Hernan Cortez. Gwendolyn Lowe. Congratulations. Lova Preet Singh. Yun Shea Yeung. Donna oh. Hansen. Slow down a little bit. Relax a little bit. Josephine Rivera Serrano. Coral Felix. Sophie Werkheiser. Yuan Robinson. Noya Abdullah. Sean Ross. Alisa Perez. Ariana Lopez Gonzalez. Courage. Kelsey. Aiden, Aiden O'Neill. Jessica De La Torre. Dakota Tallman. Claire Grove. Morgan Purcell. Samantha Rodriguez. Emma Sky Wilson. Michael Johnson, Jr. Alashia Alexandra. Jesse Berman. Martez Johnson. Juan Martinez. Bailey? Fallon Thompson. Amanda Torres. Michelle Edwards. Nevaya Shane. Monica Moody. Risa Kamitsky. William Falk. Raquel Williams. And the crowd goes wild. Giselle Benitez. Felicia Mills. Maria Amia Martinez. Colin Hoffman. Christi Christina Walsh. Tasha West. Mia Ledgerwood. Robert Kiker. Avery Kinsler. Anastasia Rivera. Tomashin Denise Diggs. Isabella Cole. Lashonda Bunch. Elizabeth Gonzalez. Aquarius White. Christina Lyerson. Serena Abdukal Abur. Haley Heflin. Jaylee Hall. Cariel Dale. Sheila Neville. Congratulations. Gianna Kofun. Eric Russell Jr. Joanna Cortez Gonzalez. Janisha Ashlock Mosley. Carla Davis. Bethany Luster. Emily Good Daly. Good Fatima Mohammed. 
Mohammed Sharif Iqbal Hussein. Ryan Wilkins. Evan Amaya. Jane Sui. Jessica Stapp. Firm Augustus. Sean Summerson, or Somerville, I'm sorry. Miguel Diaz. Veronica Wilson. Anna Valentina Becerra. Helen Chalero. Lorraine Rockymore. Okay. Kiana Curtis. Brianna Carnley. Patricia Stevens. Jadine M. Reese. Reyes. Crystal Mastriani. Alicia Sanchez. Rosalind Ortiz Cruz. Lisbeth Munoz Trujillo. Kaylana Lowen. Evlisi Santiago. Susan Lively. Nakai Myers Ray. Shaitia Cobb. Samantha Wesley. Kira Foster. Caitlin Woof. Gloris Gatewood. Michelle J. Clanton. Tamara Bellardo. Sheila Everett. Ruby Brewer Watkins. La Jolla Franklin. Hannah Taylor. Adrian Hunt. Louis Ramos Jr. Edwina Watkins. Luke Smith. Sharonda Thornton. Rosalind McDonald. Jenny Lamont. Samara Cornett. Shamar Hall. Sedania Tumabo. Samara Burnside. Braden Wilson. Kino Daly. Braden Dolph. Bernadette Lunga. Woohoo! Fidel Duran. Christopher Dashill. Honesty Schaefer. Lolita Kimbo. Margaret Merja. Ryan Coxmere. Trish Meitzler. Trish Meitzler. Logan Davis. Rachel Noor. Coddington. Nur Hassar. Jassar. Simone Price. Nate Lathan Nunley. Jaquan Bryant. Mikea Plummer. Kiana Allen. Michaelia Miller. Samantha Lehman. Christian Miller. Jasmine Quick. Amy Martinez. Sajel Young. Abigail Hooper. Natasha Davis. Alana Johnson. Austin Kashmir. Mackenzie Kovitz. Sophia Archibald. Brittany Seymour. Alyssa Wilson. Tiani Sinclair. Azaria Gooch. Natalie Zaharia. Justin Peden. Sarah Ali. Tracy Stillwell. Marisol Avenida Delgado. Wendy Diogen. Malachi Legros. Oh, no, no way. Angelia Bynum. Mia Gamari Luhan. 
Michaela Ramirez. Byron Morales. Brittany Ray. Antoinette Samuels. Caitlin Letting. Jessica Hewitt. Katrina Ainsby. Alianis Nunez. Laura Crutchfield. Victoria Galuza. Charlie Schink. Kylie Norton. Latrice Genuda. Janadu. Zoli Rivers. Help me. Brenda Fontroy. Dusty Tennyson. Vernaline John. Sylvia Sequel. Lee. Sequelli. Tanisha Kelly. Maria Lopez Aguilar. Ooh. Chloe Livingood. Daniel Hansana. Mackenzie Hendrickson Kilkenny. Rosemary oh. Hessner. Melissa Watkins. Shadea Jacobs. Patrick Allen. Diane Price. Leasia Thompson. Laisha Thompson. Caitlin Purcell. Ladaria Thompson. Jada Matthews. Mariah Posey. Emily Olvera. Brooklyn Silas. Carmen Fantauzi. Hanifa Abdullah. Lisette Clark. Tried. Mahol Boggs. Maybe. Ethan Shelton. I messed that up. Darus Pokolan. Christian Mauricio Perez. Julian Thompson. Lillian Benefiel. Temi Tope Adeniran. Ashton Snelling. Emma Shepherd. Autumn Loring. Haley Beach. Roberta Carter. Andrew Shepherd. Monisi Foday. Angel Sands. Joseph Sabatiniano. Sebastiano. Salumio Garidi. Yured Chereri. Belinda Lopez. Shalika Gordon. Amaya McWater. Dret Mims. Janai Richardson. Gabriella Taposcani. Emma Lemley. Lillian Mumford. Madison McKinley. Mia Beznoska. Raina Livingood. Ashley Turner. Evelyn Ponce. Lena Anderson. Nikki Johnson. Denissa Watson. Noah Robinson. Jennifer Ritz. Kaylee Peddleton. Tabitha Munoz Martinez. Charita Adams. Ava Duranek. Michaela Gray. Brooke Almido. Poppy Jean Richards. Ishmael Perel. Ariel Haggerty. Hakeem McKellar. Kerr Marie Rosado. Brittany Terry. Sashani Yarborough. Marsha Pate. Terika Sparks. Brian Cole, the second. Got it. Sharonda Taylor Marshall. Sierra Blagrove. Tawanya Carlton. Zakara 
Davis. Vincent Darby. Quadir, Quadir Derek, Williams. Derek Adams. Samara Rosa. Carrie Bell Murray. Victoria Nash Yelder. Blanca Ventura. Andre Jackson. Dale Anderson Hollingsworth. Michelle Joyner. Marissa McCollum. Tasha Zayas. John Sloan. Shekina Jones. Carissa Labonte. Chauncey Marsh. Jelena Lewanchik. Brittany Mitchell. Andrell Mitchell. Haley Langster. Anisha Henley. Presco Mokuta. Steven Rangalusio. Cassandra Skinner. Prophet Paul. <laughs> Natalie Robinson. Sharon Williamson. Emily Michelle Arthurs. Jarius Haddad. Kimberly Miles Moody. Samantha Gonzalez. Austin Burko. Latavio Zeno. <laughs> Zenobia Lassiter. Shanika Conci. Luke Cruz. Analia Sierra. Savona Green. Tiana Young. Murray. Mariel Kara Morton Dark Is she Kara Plessy? Mariel Morton Dinot. Okay. Whitney Hayes. Ryan Cole. Kenyana Bailey. Are you? Are you I? Are you Ali? Madison Amenra. Melanie Sue. Khadija Saru. Brianna Guile. Sherilyn Cooper. Marcus Blackwood. Mogwait Theodora Malapain. Good. <laughs> Denise <laughs> Cintron. Melanie Argueta. Malak Bexlyadder. Hannah Stovall. Jason Pagan. Sidra Ali. Zakayla Newakirk. Mika Moses. Melissa Morton. <laughs> Maya Blackwood. Samantha Penley. Jasmine Washington. Kasia Carr. Kanan Bowling. Lakin Boggs. Jessica Sheets. Marissa Bowl. Janet Ray. Lazarus Trejo. Sania Allen. Logan Asbury. Kiriana Evans. Latoya Hewitt. Joseph Stell. Amia Oates. Tyler Stell. Waylon McIntyre. Haley Warren. Monica Mitchell. Ashley Mills. Amal Hassam. Sierra Misbach. Dion Khan. Leland 
Colby. Chelsea Dick. William Stell. Lori Tilton. Tara Blunt. Courtney Below Doe. Gina McNeil. Hannah Aponte. Isaac Miramontes. Gabrielle Aponte. Jessica Hong. Carly Rowell. Layla Cotter. Anthony Mixon the second. Tajan Ferguson. Madison Skinner. Dejure Henderson. Shanice Marie Camacho Kinderson. Aileen Mina. Kanisha Rose Borja Hus. Shelby Golden. Evan Centron. Nyla Williams. Keisha Delgado Alamo. Chelsea White. Akoya Taylor. Takia Wells. Sonia Williams. Riley Johnson. Nakia Zanders. Haley Cole. Destiny Humphrey. Rania Jenkins. Maria Castilla Vega. Makwaji Mordadi. Sophia Henry. Alex Padgett. Marisol Rosario. And Katie Padgett. Kayla Johnson. Tony Waverly. James Hamilton. And Tori Waverly. Junior Cardozia. Emily Davis. Jasmine Pineda. Maya Smith. Eric Reyes. Gisela Bouchette. Emily Alvarez. Jasleen Smith. Erica Daniela Limos Torres. Alina Wakar. Kaden Gamble. Samantha Debo. Sabin Stewart. Amolola Dawson. Lee Cynthia Quinn Lewis. Cynthia Rivera. Shawana Dockery. Jeremy Filomeo. Jamaya Donald. Brooklyn Williams. Serenity Ogden Willis. Kayla Isabella Ramirez Gomez. Zamari Boone. Megan Palladini. Abigail Miller. Sonia Saha. Raphael Canarte. Tiffany Davis. Ajene Moody Carter. Aiden Robinson. Stephanie Portillo Sorto. Barbara Arnold. Christy Crothers. Tulita Soto. Sabrina Yake. Camilla Franklin. Arjun Ray. Arjun Ray Saunders. Eliana Endicott. Connie Carson. Danny Lynn Jacquez Casanova. McKenna Rogers. 
Ryland. Harrison Portillo Martinez. Ryland Wharton. Nicole Leonia Bell. Leonia Copeland. Shauna Pierce. Aria Strand. Nerea Person. Anne Marie McKellop. Ahmed Person Jr. Cooper Hall. Rocio Amazakua Ochia. Dahlia Himmler. Eric Amazakua Flores. Langford Handy. Devin Vasquez. Madison Perez. Chase Bradley. Sydney Perez. Kendra Esposito. Karina Militello. Jemiah Jackson. Miriam Sam. Jabrion Daniels. Chitya Simmons. And Brianna Daniels. Miracle? Right? Aaliyah Smith. Miracle McCuller. Angelica Rivera. Rebecca Perez. Kazi Tafik. Lydia Malvasi. Natalia Rodriguez. Ayana Armstrong. Helen Miller. Daniela Screech. Woo! Joshua Miller. Marjorie Sharp. Tracy Williams. Danny Hamlin. Caitlin Trejo. Diamond Lopez. Vivian Estrada. Benjamin Dick Jr. Renasia Robinson. Piper Young. Cecilia Wangiko. Kaylee Coach. Jessica Moore. Amber Moses. Andrea Andrews. Tori Shaw. Tasha McBarrows. Aisha Kayed. Delaney Hone. Latonda Edwards. Angelina Moore. Yaneli Orozoko. Joshua Shaw. Jennifer Sanchez. Devana English. Avi Aviana Martinez. Yusuf Shadiri. Kirsty Dottery. Gordy. Oh. Mohammed Rasul. Joel Berkeley. Walter Escobar. What did I say? Doctor, the guy that they have? Denise Murray. Anelia Militano. Tarika Chappell. Nehemiah Kwamali. Danita Neelan. Gabriela Pena. Nina Lloyd. Mark Kozlov. Riley Bohack. Betty Ann Stevens. Denisa Brown. Kamel like Ray. Angel? Angel Majors. Shambra Grant. Nathan Bergman. Destiny Ely. Tina Butramovich. 
Sabrina Richstad. Kim. Kim Day. Tori Taylor. Tiffany Lovier. Jade Alexis Ludenslager. Brittany Ashton. Maya Walker. Christine Collandres. Kayla Walker. Madison. Madison Brewer. Ileana Ramos. And Zinga Tulu. Jaden Reese. London Brown. Sharika Bradley. Natalie Edcock. Caitlin Steinfield. Jerome Hawkins. Marcia Gibbons. Thevenin. Carl Henry Thevenin. Ashavia Bowman. Cassie Remington. Gabriel Barreto. Ashavia Bowman. William Preacher. Julius Avino. Clayton Stolte. Shahid Hill Roberts. Farhad Hamsada. Jacob Bowman. Preston Schaefer. Sonia Stevens. Kylie McGrady. Brandy Delaspor. Donaldo Escobar. Sarah Popol, Shaquana Hargrove, Aaron Soto, Jayla Happy Benton, Wilson Mezgigua, Ariana Kennedy, Danielle Knight, Sultana Rao, Lakeisha Lott. Gabriela Perez. Anita Archery. Elena Watson. Leah McLam. Layla Bailey. Jordan Sterling. Tommy Lineman. Princess Sneed. Malik Williamson. Saad Imran. Stephanie Johnson. Abigail Molano. Ania Freeman. James Sardella. Haseus Martinez. Rachel Drabrick. Drabrick. Brianna McDaniel. Cartrez Parker. Raymond Salinas. Vanessa Marie Pauls. Tiffany Gomez. Rima Gadu. Madison Black. Talia White. Annalicia Thurman. Giovanni Joseph. Mohammed Takir Tanivir. Bill Dilfo Palma. Eric Austin. Annette White. Angela Jones. Donna Jennings Tillery. Mosdanine Raw. Diamond Barnes. Tanasia Smith. Got it. Queenessa Barnes McBride. Khadija Zadan. Trinity Bloom. Jilbria Harrison. Trinity Ector. Leticia Reader. Maram Al Marari. Ray Matthews. 
Renee Forbes. You make it so easy. Shabika Yaki. Ethan Armstrong. Alexis Holmes. Cameron Armstrong. Monica McClendon. Mohammed Abdullah. Fatima Mack. Jada, right? Jada Cruz. Inez Hernandez. Unique Jackson. Rebecca Reyes. Aaron Corion. Paris Lamina Keith. And last but not least, Hope Bunny Jones. Catherine Wakefield. Angelica Morales. Jesus Alcantar. Willow Rodriguez. Andrea Pilgrim. Priyanka Maida. Chantel Williams. Priya Singh. Quishandra Crawford. Edward Teddy. Right. Frasia Mawamba. Alicia. And last but not least, Alicia. This concludes our presentations of graduates. Would everybody please be seated? Now we will begin the conferring of degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Upon the recommendation of the instructors acting under the authority of the Penn Foster Board of Directors, I hereby confer upon each of you the diploma, certificate, associate, bachelorette, master's, or degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. I now invite all graduates to move their tassels from the right to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you class of 2020, 21, 22, and 23, our newest alumni. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Thank you for sharing this day with us. We have a special treat for you. Would you please welcome back to the stage Latour Parnell to help us congratulate our, our graduates as they embark on the next chapter of their lives. Latoura. We all had to climb to be here today. You ought to stand up and give yourself a standing ovation. Come on, you did it. You did it! Congratulations to each and every one of you.
Let's do it. Graduates, please follow the directions of the ushers during their sessional. Having now completed the award of the degrees, diplomas, and certificates, I hereby declare you the 2023 commencement exercise adjourned. Thank you and congratulations. Oh, baby.